Yo, hey guys, it's Pin back with another video. Sorry I haven't uploaded in so long because I was training for my boxing match in a few months. So, um, anyways, I'm back now and today I just wanted to talk about some of the issues with Pixel Worlds and the things that I genuinely think that went wrong. Before I get started on the video though, I just want to clarify that I love the game and this video isn't intended for drama purposes. So I won't be naming or shaming or hating on people, nor will I talk about other players' conflicts. But instead, I'll just be discussing and merely be discussing about certain aspects about Pixel Worlds on an, on an objective point of view and won't be biased. Also, I can take constructive criticism. So, uh, number one, the whole game in general. So, in my own opinion, Pixel Worlds is way better than Gotopia, but it does have its flaws. Especially since Jake and the majority of the developer team has left. Things have been... Things have been going downhill, and till this day there hasn't been any update on the new developers, and I know Siski is working hard despite this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, there are three current developers. Siski, B-Bricks, and Lokalapsi, who recently came back from a Marshall League. And there, has, there also hasn't uh, been any good updates for a few months now. To be honest with you guys, there's probably more farewells than updates, and plus many players are quitting. Based on the Steam charts alone, it's crystal clear that the players are declining. And <clears throat> sorry, and I honestly think that the current developers need to use their own initiative and listen to the community. So uh, number two, uh, the, the developers. Obviously, the developers don't really listen to the community often. And I honestly think it's a bad thing. It's a really bad thing, to be honest. A lot of games implement their community a lot into the game, making it uh, good and a fun place for everyone. In Pixel Worlds, that's a different thing. We only get told about stuff they do, but nothing big to decide for ourselves. Next, number three, the support. Obviously, the most reported thing is scams and players. Tend to email support at cookery.com for support. The chances of getting away with getting scammed is probably higher than the chance of getting a reply back from support. Anyways, in the meantime, waiting for assistance, the scammer will probably take the item and switch accounts or illegal trade it. And there are probably more issues besides scams so many players get upset that the support team doesn't try and at least solve the issues, which probably could make them stop playing the game or quit as a whole. Developers or admins should at least listen to their community more or less. After all, we are the people who play Pixel Worlds on a daily basis, not them. Uh, number four, the moderation. Many players and I would probably agree that the moderation is complacent. Recently, Starfire got demoted for controversies with Neo Slayer and other players, which I think was probably a bit harsh. Uh, to be honest with you, she was actually an active moderator performing her duties 24-7, <laughs> and she had jobs in real life, so yeah. Oh! <laughs> so maybe the better option would have been from their mod status on a hiatus, but honestly, oh. we can't do anything about it other than the admins. Whenever you try to get your issues resolved with a moderator, they generically oh. respond with email support at cookery.com, but that's useless. So yeah, I was speaking with INS the other day. He, he accused me of scamming Saigo Scorchewings, but I didn't, but I didn't as I emailed them and got a reply a few days later. He, he said he could check logs, but that was lies. And yeah, so I'll, I'll read you the support. Uh, reply now see what it says here hey pin moderators cannot check logs unless they ask us to from our side of things we can see that Saigo agreed to give you a scorcher wings when you had beaten him in tic-tac-toe rest assured though you gave it back and there's nothing to be worried about <laughs> so yeah he's saying here he checked logs and whatever I said never happened I wasn't found and he's saying like things like I never bet the wings even though I did and it's clear alone that he was telling lies from this. So I, there's like moderators shouldn't be shouldn't tell lies like this. Should like tell the truth at least often. Uh, yeah. So so yeah. Congratulations for the people who got moderator. Uh, so Luxus Kalub and uh, what's his name, Serkson, they got moderator, and hopefully we might get even more new moderators in different platforms and if you want to apply for moderator i'll put the application in the i'll put the apple i'll put the application link in the description below 
So yeah, finally, number five, inflation and deflation. This is a huge issue in Pixel World because the game's profit works basically on supply and demand. If they're going to return limited items, they'll make a lot of players mad and cause conflict. So inflation usually happens when when you drop the value of currency, which is bite coins, the prices will increase rapidly, uh, rapidly and then de deflation, rising value of currency, which is also bite coins, the prices will decrease rapidly. And the, mar the usually the majority of people complain about inflation, only wanted expensive items to drop, just not their own item. So next video, delete I it. upload. I'm in it now. Delete it. Delete no, 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 man, I'm not finished. Ooh. But delete it, man. I'm in it now. Delete it. You're not, man. So I can remove you out. In conclusion, I believe the game still has lots of potential and we should all work together to make Pixel Worlds a better game. Best believe, guys, the next video I upload will be a lot more positive. And thank you guys for watching. It's my first time making a video like this and I'm honestly just... Yeah. As I'm voice recording myself, I'm putting text in so I can read it. So yeah, I'm basically reading it off the screen. And if you want more uh, discussion type videos like these, let me know in the comments. Let me also, let me guys know what you also think down below. And don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Why are you eating all the job right